Welcome to Forte Web versus Forte Desktop. This video is going to go through just a couple of the differences in the user interfaces. So the great thing about Forte Web is that you can access it from any device. We have another set of videos that goes through the mobile differences and suggest you check that out after you watch this one it's easier to make the translation from the desktop version to a bigger screen first. So one of the first things you might be looking for when you create a Forte web account is where do you set your building code and connector manufacturer? With the desktop version that was kind of in a pop-up when you first updated to the latest version and it was kept under program settings, well now that's moved into the job settings tab. So you'll set that at first when you create a new job and you'll hit the save as default button so that you're not setting that over and over and over again. But in order to create a new job you'll have to do that using the new file manager. To get to the file manager you click on this little piece of paper icon up at the top right. The file manager is where all your files are kept and it's more of a cloud-based system where your files are kept up in the cloud and you access them via the web. So once you get into File Manager, all your files are listed here. We have Teams at the left, which you can create and use to share your files with other users, very similar to Google Drive, if you're familiar with that interface. Up across the top, you can create new folders to organize your files however you like. You can import for TE files from the desktop version as well as XML files from other design softwares. You can also download a 4TE file to your hard drive or server if you'd like to keep a copy locally. You can also use the move command to reorganize your files however you like. This little star indicates that's the file that I have in use, so there is a user lock on that file. So if it's something that's in a team, it prevents other users from uh, overwriting my work, like save conflicts and whatnot. And this little swirly pencil is a tool for renaming whatever item I happen to be working on. So in this case, I can rename my job, but you'll see that little pencil show up in when you're in a file as well to rename uh, levels, the job itself, different members, and so on. So to open a file you can either double click or use the open button. Your job tree is the same over on the left hand side. You'll see the buttons that used to be at the bottom and the tabs that used to be at the bottom have moved up. Some of the other settings that used to be at the top left have moved over to the top right. So you'll see uh, Program Settings and Materials Manager in here, as well as your user profile. The ribbon with all the images is gone from the top, but you hit this little plus button and they kind of fly out. So you can choose whatever member it is you're looking for. The graphics are still the same. You just click on that and they, they kind of open up. So if we're looking at a beam, you'll see the, the tabs across the top all appear here. Another minor difference is that the checkboxes for web stiffeners and cantilever reinforcement, as well as the drop down for multi member connections, has moved from the job settings tab to the member info tab. The save as default button has moved slightly. Uh, it used to be kind of at the bottom, it's now at the top. So if we click through spans and supports, you'll notice that the image of the graphic is not. Uh, shown by default just for space. You have this little green button to show it. Under the Loads tab, uh, on these drop downs here, you have the ability to copy a load like you did before. You have a little trash can to delete a load. Under the Add Load heading, with Quick Loads, you can quickly add some preset values to your Loads tab. We have a drop down for linking reactions, so remember load linking. It works very much the same. A couple things that are different for Forte Web versus the desktop version uh, for beams, you have the ability to size a tapered end cut. And for Joyce, under the location analysis tab, you have the ability to size or analyze a single notch in the flange. 
and we have different options for that. On the Reports tab, this is where you now select your hangar and multi-member connections. This used to be located on the Solutions tab, it's just moved to the Reports tab. Also the Print buttons have moved, so these little swirly circles here, this is where you can print your full detail or member reports. These are previously located up at the top of the screen. And again, to print the calc package, you do that by clicking on the job name and printing design members or job summary. So that's just a quick overview of the differences. Don't forget to check out our video on the mobile interface for Forte Web. And thank you for specifying TrustJoyce Warehouser products.